Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to the Long Range Weather Forecast Gushing for November 24th through December 8th. Uh, first, we're going to talk about the system affecting um, the Northeast and Middle Atlantic. We're going to go take a look at the system. Here, um, here we are at tonight, 7 p.m. tonight. We have this low moving up uh, through the Great Lakes into Canada, spreading rain in the area. The heaviest rain looks to be down on parts of the mountainous areas of um, North Carolina into um, western and central PA with snow further to the north. And um, that's at 7 p.m. Then we go to um, 7 a.m. in the morning, and it looks like it's starting to shift off to the east coast as the secondary development forms off the middle Atlantic coast. Now, this GFS keeps it keeps it um out here we'll look at the european and um pretty much same maybe um 7 p.m tonight and 7 a.m tomorrow now it has um the secondary low moving right across um new jersey so this, right along the coast so make this makes it too warm for snow in this region snow will be further to the north you can see where the 540 line is here the uh, for snow it'll be across Maine and then we'll look at the European ensembles go 7 p.m. the more uh, at night uh, 7 p.m. tonight and we'll go to 7 a.m. tomorrow it's pretty close and then it moves out and it's pretty much over and then with the secondary low it doesn't have a secondary oh there it is come on Friday and this will be the next system we'll be watching across the mid-Atlantic all right, so now we're going to take a look at the rainfall amounts. This is in um, six-hour periods. Uh, we look at 7 p.m. tonight. It's still fairly light. The heaviest rain across central PA, like I said, down into the Carolinas where amounts reach an inch. And then uh, we get into the heavier precipitation, uh, maybe one inch later in the night, but it'll be a quick mover, and then it's out. It starts ending early in the morning, and then it's out. Okay? All right, now we're going to get to the regular forecast. This is for the period of November 24th to 28th. And uh, what we have here is a uh, broad trough covering much of the country. And we have a ridge here above Nome Heights across Alaska into the uh, parts of the Northwest. And we have above Nome Heights here in the Greenland. Heights remain mixed across the Arctic region here. Okay. Um, now we're going to get to um, the nitty-gritty of this forecast. This will be uh, from the 24th to the 28th. And we will have, oh, got to go to the other map, 24th to the 28th. And we will have northern stream energy along Pacific energy result in a couple of weather systems that will affect portions of the east. The first one here, this will be Saturday into Sunday. We have a secondary low moving off the coast. And it kind of keeps it offshore and maybe some snow across uh, PA in the northeast. But along the coast, it remains um, to be seen if there's any snow. It doesn't look like there will be. So that's the GFS. And then we'll look at the European. Here's the next system moving in. It brings some precipitation in, but it's very close, like southern New Jersey, central New Jersey. And then it moves out. All right. So um, there'll be a unsettled period across parts of the east. And uh, further out west, you can see the story here, it'll be snow and cold temperatures across the central Rockies late in the week. Okay, we're going to look at the period for um, November 29th through December 3rd. And the pattern doesn't change all that much. It remains generally the same. They have above normal heights here, above normal heights near Greenland, mixed anomalies across the Arctic. And we still have our broad trough here across the country. And um, we look at the various models. They're pretty consistent. So uh, for this forecast period, there we go again. I don't know if it's me the way I'm hitting it. Um... Expecting above normal temperatures here, and I'm calling for anomalies to be near 6 degrees above normal. Highest anomalies here, below normal temperatures for this region, and anomalies could be 6 degrees or more across this region, mainly across the northeast. 
and looking at precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation here, probability of occurrence is near 45%, and then we have above normal precipitation for this region here, and the probability of occurrence is nearly 40%. Now we're going to the next period. This will be for um, December 4th to the 8th. And you can see the flow generally flattens with above normal heights here across much of Canada, the northern states, near Greenland. And we have... Um, and we have a trough that moves into the west during this period, or some of the, the models have it like this, like the GFS and its ensembles. But I don't know if this will happen. So I'm looking at the other models. Uh, this is the European ensembles and also the Canadian. Uh, has some quite a trough moving, but still relatively a zone of flow above normal heights here in the Greenland. Keep looking at Greenland this time of year to look for any kind of blocking, and it looks like there is some. But we're looking for above normal heights across much of this region here, like we had back, uh, well, we don't have it anywhere but mainly across Canada and the high latitudes. So um, for this forecast period, calling for a little change in the temperature anomalies and for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence is uh, near 45%. And then we have above normal precipitation here. And the probability of occurrence is 40%. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for November 24th through December 8th. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.